Once considered a K-pop miracle with the success of Blackpink's hit Cupid, which broke many records, 5050 is facing a serious reputation crisis because of a dispute with its management company. What's wrong with 5050? Let's find out right now. At the end of March, the song Cupid by rookie girl group 5050 entered the US Billboard Hot 100 chart for the first time. 5050 became the fastest K-pop artist to achieve this achievement in history, and is considered a miracle when the group comes from a small company attract, not the super idol in the Korean entertainment industries such as YG, SM, HYB, or JYP. After that, Cupid continued to break many records that Blackpink had set, becoming the song by a K-pop girl group with the highest ranking and longest stay on both the US Billboard Hot 100 chart and the disc chart. UK single 5050 with the hit Cupid is also the first female K-pop artist to enter the top 10 of Billboard's pop airplay chart. This is a chart that measures weekly plays of 40 mainstream radio stations across the U.S. At the end of June 2023, Attract CEO John Hong Joon shocked everyone when he announced that there were outside forces trying to approach and entice the four members of 5050 to violate the exclusive contract. On August 19th, SBS broadcast the program Unanswered Questions, interviewing the parents of four members of 5050 about the reason they started the lawsuit with a tract. However, the program led to adverse reactions and received harsh criticism from the Korean public. The audience said that SBS was too biased towards 5050 and lacked the objective element of a television report. SBS had to apologize after Dispatch continued to prove that some information in the program was false. On August 28, Seoul Central Court rejected 5050's application to temporarily suspend the exclusive contract with management company Attract, because the members had not sufficiently explained the reason for cancelling the contract. The court emphasized that the documents presented by 5050 were not highly authentic. After much controversy, the lawsuit came to fruition when the Seoul court rejected the request of 5050 members to suspend the validity of the contract with management company Attract. The girls filed a lawsuit claiming that the company was not transparent about payments, did not receive health support, and lacked resources to support group activities. However, because 50-50's side did not have enough evidence to indict the company, the court made the final decision. All four members have now lost the lawsuit and must continue their contract with the tract. This result means that the group will continue to operate under the management of a tract according to the original contract. However, the tension between the two parties may cause future work to be interrupted. Many South Korean sources believe that, based on the contract terms and 5050's revenue from its first launch, Attract can claim compensation up to a total of 23.6 billion KRW, not to mention other additional claims from the group's refusal to advertise losses arising from the suspension of overseas marketing. According to Korean media, the lawsuit between 5050 and Attract is a special case as this is the rare time both the public and the media sided with the entertainment company. Normally, artists who dare to speak out and sue the company for injustice will always receive sympathy. But in this case, 5050 could not provide weighty evidence, 
and dispatch continuously released unfavorable evidence, accusing the members and their families of lying. The public gradually lost faith in 50-50. Many viewers believe that 50-50 is too arrogant, impulsive and destroys development opportunities. While they are still rookies, they only rose to fame thanks to a hit song Cupid but have not yet been remembered by the audience. During the litigation, 50-50 lost many major contracts and projects. In the latest development, fans are worried that the lawsuit will prevent 50-50 from receiving compensation from the sales of the group's album The Beginning, scheduled to be released on September 22nd. Therefore, fans have warned the audience and called for a boycott of the album to avoid trouble for the idols. Before 50-50, the band Luna was also involved in a similar lawsuit with the management company Blockberry Creative. The fan community also decided to completely boycott, not buying albums or listening to music as a move to support their idols. Despite their young age, the four members tried their best to think and behave independently. However, Attract did not listen to the voices of the members, believing that this was an attempt at blackmail by an outside powerful force, arbitrarily revealing a member's reason for surgery without asking first. As for Attract, this unit believes that an external force lured the members into violating the contract during the group's rest period because a member had to undergo surgery due to illness. Notably, Attract has clearly named music distribution company Warner Music Korea as the party involved in this issue. During the first mediation session, the management company still maintained the stance that they wanted the members to return. Any payment issues can be resolved once 50-50 returns. As long as they are willing to return to the company, we will take all necessary measures for the team to receive normal support with full resources," the company stated. However, the four members maintained their original stance. The group's name means 50 ideals, 50 realities, carrying the message that for each task there will be a 50% real chance, a 50% dream chance and they always strive to become possible. 100% of fans. The group is oriented by the company as a group bringing bright, hopeful ideals in a real life full of hardships. Please join Ask K-Pop to follow and update the next information about 5050. Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi video hôm nay. Nếu các bạn thấy video này hay thì hãy like, share và đừng quên đăng ký kênh để ủng hộ Ask Kpop TV cho thêm nhiều video hấp dẫn hơn nhé. Hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở video sau nhé.